Can I just ask you to start off by reflecting on, on a, a week of contrast? There was such a lot of negative publicity after what happened at Norwich and then that seemed to be quickly forgotten after what happened in the Champions League. How, how satisfying has it been for you as a, as a man manager, as a coach, to get that change in result, change in mood? Um, I think I think I didn't expect this question, but uh, I think uh, after what happened the last years, because we have to try to to make a global perspective about what this team has done. So, so I didn't have doubts about the behavior. The result was good, but the performance was even better, and I didn't have doubts. So, when you, of course, we can lose. It's maybe it's your problem when you believe we cannot lose. When you say what you say, when you have a lot of success, believe me, it's your problem. It's not our problem because we know before every game we can lose. Even tomorrow, we have the feeling that we can lose. But when we lose one game in the Premier League in the last eight months, include the summer time, I make a, a little bit tricky. So why should uh, doubt? So the other, sometimes the opponent is better, or sometimes the opponent is more precise, or sometimes the opponent do something we didn't expect, or sometimes I don't know. We don't have the best performance, but I didn't have doubts after one defeat. The reaction of the players of the team would be because they have shown many, many times in many, many years. There's a lot of debate about your central defensive problems. Fernandinho seemed very comfortable. What are your long term plans or, or maybe your, your plans over the next few weeks for that position? Well, I said, I said in, in, in Kharkiv uh, when we play in Ukraine, so we don't have many other options. We have many other options with Rodri can play there or, and of course two, two, two young players like we trust a lot because we, especially Eric is training last season, all the season with us and, and Tyler Bailey, Tyler Bailey was in the preseason and we were really impressed about what he has done, so we are going to count on them. So it's not, it's not a problem, it's a challenge. So I, I don't take these situations like a problem. It's what it is. We have to accept it and, and handle it with that. And the important is to be positive in your mind and if we will do it, we'll be happy. If, doesn't, if we don't do it, we we'll work harder. Any update on when Stones and Laporte might be back? I think it's not necessary to ask about Laporte because Laporte, I said last week, it was five or six months. It passed just one week after my my comment. Reflecting John Stone, so hopefully in, I don't know, one month, three weeks, one, one month, a little bit more, we'll be, we'll be back. Any fresh injury concerns? No. Yesterday came back from, from Ukraine and now we're training. We'll see the players today how they he feels for, for take the selection for tomorrow. Welcome. Simon Stone, BBC. You say that it's a challenge that you're facing now. <clears throat> After the game on, on Saturday, for instance, how long does it take you to accept even one defeat? How, how long do you go over what, what, what might have gone wrong or what decisions you didn't make that were right before you reach conclusion as to what happened and why it happened? Well, we review the game, we speak, normally I speak with, uh, with Mikel, with Rodo, my staff. I listen to uh, his opinion, their opinions, uh, it's so important for me. Always I work in that way, listen what the other one said, because sometimes they realise some aspects I didn't realise and they help me to, to take the better solution but what would happen and uh, after watching the games the, against Norwich I was not really upset for the way we played honestly so I was upset again in Newcastle like after one zero after one minute we forget to play but the game against uh, Norwich it didn't happen we shoot 50 more than 50 times and in we could win in Newcastle, I didn't have that feeling for after one minute. And a Norwich game, they shoot three and shoots and half four, and we gave them most of most of them. And and we we accept it. So I don't have many times in the big moments. So we have a lot of success. I am more relaxed than should be. And when when we lose, I'm not so many depressed. I said okay. 
that is going to happen. It's 99 points to play. We have seen five points behind, 99 still to play. So losing is look such a how, 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 how many points we can get it. Losing is such a rare experience for you, though. Not at all. I lose many times in my career as a football player, especially in the manager. You've won a lot more than you've lost. Yeah, that's true. That's why I'm manager, still manager. If not, they sack me. So the only way to survive here is win games. And, and yeah, we won. We won a lot. And, and that's happened, but that is a consequence sometimes when many times here, what can improve next season? What can improve next season? So you have to understand what you have done in the past doesn't not assure you you can do it tomorrow or the day after. And the opening that we have, when I said many times, maybe it's the strongest opponent I have faced in my career as a manager at Liverpool. And it's not a weak word, but I said when they were in front, I said when we were in front, I said when we won, and I said when we lose, because they have absolutely everything in terms of in a positional game, in a counter-attack, in set pieces, in transitions, offensive, defensive, in mentality, in Anfield, in stadiums, and many things. And I know how difficult it was, and I know how difficult it is, and I know how difficult it will be. But that is the challenge, the same with the central defenders. We can start to say, oh, we don't have the central defender. I said, OK, let's go to, f to, you know, to find a solution to, to keep the team stable and good. Was the FA Cup final against Watford, given the importance of the game, given the the way that turned out, was that one of one of your most satisfying performances? Because that that seemed perfect day. Well, it was the last game in the season. We played that game knowing that we could be part of the something unique in the English football history. Never team did four times four titles in, in one season, especially the three domestic important titles in one season. And we play in that game in that position. We have a few problems in the beginning for one or two contra-attacks. But after that, the score of the first and the second one was good. We were relaxed winning the Premier League one week before and we were so... But now it's completely different. It's the beginning of the season. Now they change the manager. All the best for Javi Garcia and, and, and of course, from Kike Sanchez Flores. And, is in the beginning of the season. They, I saw the game yesterday, flying back to, to Manchester, the game against Arsenal, and wow, the second half was incredible, the way, how good they play. And because they have arguments with the Kureka Pue, they are so strong in the middle, the Lofeo in the good afternoon, they can do absolutely everything. With Gray and the new ones are in front, they are strong and fast, so, you know, so, Every game has his, his, his problems, so, but it's not comparing what happened in the FIA Cup. I, I, don't have any, I don't find any similarity or, or consequence for both games. Pep, Fred Caldeira, Sport Interactive Brazil. Um, obviously, you have many options on your squad and it can be a bit tricky to balance opportunities. Focusing on Gabriel, what he did in Kharkiv, is that type of performance that you expect from him? And what do you see? for him this season in terms of de development? Listen, I, with the case of Gabriel, I will let them everybody plays. There is few players that didn't play too much and I'm so sorry for them, but I want to let them play. So I don't want to leave 11 months to win one title when seven eight players, they don't play one minute. So, And and that's why he was involved and maybe we'll be involved tomorrow and the other one, he does a one. But it's difficult to find in Europe, in the world, one striker like Gabriel, how important it is, is a number nine for the national team from Brazil, of Kerala, alongside with Firmino. And he's incredible to play, a young player. His behaviors in the training session is outstanding. And he has to handle to fight in position like a legend, an incredible, one of the best strikers I've ever seen in my life with Aguero. And it's not easy to accept this role, and he'd accept it. That's why it's my prize to him, it's over the moon because it's not easy to find. I will not find a player because after that, when Sergio doesn't play for injury for my decision, the substitute Sergio has to be at top level, that the level deserves Man City. And it's not fine to accept sometimes on play one or two or three or four games because Sergio is an incredible player. A, Sergio didn't play in Kharkiv in the last five or six games. He's played every game a goal and assist and fight like the last two seasons, Sergio is incredible how he fights for the team and, and make the effort. So that's why I'm so delighted with the border strikers and with, with Gabriel, what could I say? So just be patient and, and I know when he plays, 
always he does and he does absolutely everything like he has done in 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 Ukraine, not just for the goal, not for the way he fight, he plays and he try and he's a young, young, young striker, so with the future for this club is incredible. So that's why it's I'm so delighted for both. And in, in that case you asked me for 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 Gabriel, for Gabriel. Pep, just a word about, uh, you mentioned the manager coming back again, Kike Sanchez Flores, to Watford. How surprised were you by that turn of events with Grazia going, Flores coming back so quickly, so, so early in the season? Um, a question for the president for Watford. I don't have any comments about that. But what about the, the situation where clubs seem to have a, a ruthless model like Watford? You, again, the turnaround of managers, it seems very, very brutal to barely a season so for each I, manager. I don't want to make any comments about the decisions for the other clubs. They know exactly the reality is a far away. Only I can say I'm so sorry. But our job, I think all the managers in that position, not, not just in the in the Premier League, in Championship, in all the leagues around the world, we know we depend on the results. The people doesn't believe in what, in what we do. The people believe in our results. Because most of the People who judge us, especially sometimes inside of the club or sometimes outside of the club, they don't know exactly what we do. So they analyze just the results, that's all. And we depend on that. If we win, we can stay sit here in front of you. If don't, I will be replaced. It's it's what it is. Here and everywhere. Well, Pep. Yeah. Um, as a person that studies a lot all the aspects on the build up of the game. Um, how do you think that affects in the game now that you have seen it like in some game weeks, the new rule that the defenders now can come out with the ball from the goal inside the area? How yeah, it's a short pass. Before the pass was longer, so like the pass is longer, your process to press, you have more time. Now you are, sh it's shorter and the space between central defender and fullback is bigger. That's why to press is a little bit more difficult. It's a little bit easier to make build up and more difficult to press. And then I wanted to ask you uh, as well, because last week uh, Samuel Eto said in an interview that he wants to be the first African manager to win the Champions League in the same fashion that the teams that Pep Guardiola have done it. Um, how do you feel about that? Why Thank not? you. They have to buy players like Eto. And after he can do what Pep does. Uh, Riyad Mahrez made a fantastic start to the season. How important is he to you, bearing in mind, obviously, Leroy's out for quite a few months? Well, a lot. Hopefully, Leroy could be here with us. But um, I said many, many times, so when he played last season, play good. Except the first, maybe, games, but it's normal. You arrive in a new, new place and understand what they want. They play in long, many, many years, a team like they were sit back and use the counter-attack and here is a little bit different and you know tanto, but we knew the quality especially the mentality especially how competitive it is it surprised me a lot and especially there is one detail i said maybe there's the second or third time i said he loves to play football and he loves to training session he loves to be in contact with the ball and and i like this type of player so he goes to the training session on the pitch and everybody stay there arrive and take it immediately take the ball and play with the ball and, and have fun with the ball and that maybe is a stupid uh, detail but i like it and and he's a guy who i think he doesn't feel too much pressure it doesn't matter where he plays mm -hmm. uh, he has a lot of confidence in himself uh in terms when um in terms of of uh of make a bad actions, two bad actions, and the next one uh, uh, gives me the ball, give me the ball, I'm going to try again. And that is the best detail to the players in the big, big clubs, in the big, big stages. I think it's the most difficult to find. And I think he's quality. Only he has to improve to be a little bit more relaxed when he doesn't play. Only that. The rest is 